pickled beets, regular beets, like I'm all for it. I can even drink, I really enjoy beets and juices, like beet juice by itself. Hey everybody, welcome to another gorgeous day with your girl Jess and we up up like it's 5.02 in the morning. I just got my first workout in like I'm trying to get back on track even though TMI I am PMS and I'm in so much pain right now but I got up and I'm glad I got up because my I have an alarm set every day for 3.45 during the week to try to get up and get a morning workout in before work. So then I have another alarm that goes off at 4, one that goes off at like 4.15, and then another one that goes off at 4.40, um, one that goes off at 5.25. The 5.25 one is like, hey, like if you slept through all these other alarms, get up because you gotta get your, girl, your, your daughter up to get ready for school, right? So today my 345 alarm went off. I wasn't ready. So I snoozed, I, I turned it off. I didn't even snooze it, I turned it off. Then my four o'clock alarm went off and I was like, okay. I stopped it and I was like, I use the bathroom. So like I'm up, I might as well not try to go back to sleep. I'm up, just get up and work out. Cause you gotta get your lunch and stuff together. You gotta do this, 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 right? So I'm like, all right, let me go ahead and get this workout in. You got, got a good workout in. Like, I'm sore right here. And I don't know if it's because I slept wrong or if it's just because I have tension right here in this area. I don't know what it is um, because I did do like some these type of workouts. So I don't know if like that might be what it is or what. I don't know, but it hurts a little bit. So anyway, I woke up, I worked out, then my whole workout. Right, and then I'm like, okay, five o'clock of where I'm going now. Cool, I got a little bit of time. I'm low key a little bit in my mind stressed out because all the stuff I said I needed to get done for work this week did not get through, right? And then I go, like always, this time my alarm goes off at five o'clock, and I need to sit. Oh, so I was saying, so I have all these alarms, and then when I woke up at four o'clock, I looked at my alarms, and none of my alarms, I only have two alarms in there. Like the rest of my alarms have been deleted. So now I gotta go back and add those back in because I'm that type of girl that needs those. I will snooze, and then I'll go back to sleep and won't wake up until it's too late. So, um, I'm thinking my son probably deleted them because he be having my phone. But anyway, so I get done with my workout, it's five o'clock, okay, cool. Uh, or it's almost five o'clock, it's not even five o'clock yet. So I go because my phone is on do not disturb to see, you know, like if I have any messages or, you know, just to check for notifications, right? And there's a notification in there from the principal. I get a text message for it, but it's in the um, work group chat. And snow day, everybody. Hmm? Go look at my email snow day go look outside yes it's snow and granted it's not a lot but they're saying it's ice up under that snow so like the roads aren't treated that sort of thing so the snow day that we had last week which wasn't that much for us in the city but it was you know it was a decent amount for them people out in the county um when i when i woke up to the snow day at like eight or nine it looked like there had not been no snow on the ground like people had traveled or whatever when i looked outside today it's like you could tell it's just like nobody traveled nowhere and yesterday i was kind of weirded out because i was doing my errands and stuff and i was like is it snowing like i kept feeling like this wintry mixed type weather and the temperature had dropped mind you saturday the, it was almost 60 degrees outside Cause I took the kids to Dollar Tree and I was like, what the f so I got a day to get myself together. Yay me. So, and I already got my workout in. Yay me. Look at these arms. But so this weekend I watched um, You People 
hated it, thumbs down, would not recommend, do not want to watch. It's just not my cup of tea. Some people liked it, I'm not one of them people. I was very bored during it and I did it during my workout and I was just like over it. Um, but today I wanna watch Palmer. Um, I've been seeing some like ads for it on TikTok and it looks really interesting. It has Justin Timberlake in it, it's on Apple TV. So I'ma watch that today on my snow day, which means I don't have to wake my kids up. They get an extra day of whatever. Um, glad I did get some stuff from the grocery store so I don't have to try to venture out or I don't have anything. But yeah, I just wanted to open this up and say, hey, so we're going to get some work done together, especially since everybody in the house is quiet and they're sleeping. And I'm thinking, like, thank God, because there's another day I can cramp and be at home cramping and I have to be worried about my little work kiddos. But it's going to put a damper in everything I need to get done this week. Everything. All right. See y'all later. Okay, y'all. Excuse me if this voiceover sounds a bit crazy i'm not feeling the best but i want to get this footage out so i try to keep um updating you guys on whenever i use teacher pay teachers but a lot of the resources that i have i don't pay for or they are free i try to go to free resources first before i go to paid resources this however was a, a paid resource and i'll try to link it down below but it was basically a powerpoint and it had all these great different things that you could do with each letter you can use it for google slides if you have that program my district doesn't do google slides so i did this in powerpoint i condensed it down uh, but i'm just showing you guys basically what it looks like and a couple of activities i decided to use as far as working with my students i saved this as um, individual powerpoint slides so that each student could work on it without interrupting or messing up other students work um and i just saved it with their names and then i shared it through the OneDrive, I think. So I sent it to their email, but it kind of pops up on their iPad. In my district, every student has an iPad um, that they're issued to work on work, uh, so there's that. So this is just me showing you basically the breakdown of the individual pieces of work that I chose to okay. do. So usually I use Canva to create uh, worksheets. But today I created this exit ticket for the letter I for a identification for uppercase and lowercase I. So I created this little T chart. This is in PowerPoint. And then I created these boxes. Um, this is gonna be one of my exit tickets. And then I'm going to create an exit ticket that's like this um, that will have pictures. So start with the letter I sound. Don't start with the letter I sound. So those will be two different type of exit tickets that I'll do this week. Um, I wanted to do something else, but I think this will be easier and then I can kind of play around with this. So um, I'm in my room in the dark. So this is my curriculum. We do three chairs for pre-K. Uh, I think it's part of Savis. Um, so usually we do three weeks and we learn three different letters and then the fourth week is a review. Uh, yeah, so the review is gonna be over C and an I. So I think I have a mini bingo thing that I created. I don't think I showed, well, I didn't create it, I got it. Um, so let me go back to week three because it's in here. And I haven't colored it yet because that was like the plan. And I don't know if we're going to get to it uh, this week. But um, so we have like this sheet and it basically gives you like all the things. So I was going to color this and then laminate it, cut it into squares and basically um introduce it to the kids like in small group and then play with it, play it with them there um but then i realized i only printed it only came with three pages for the mini bingo like board so if you get four in a row any kind of which way you win and i was thinking like maybe a small prize of like a piece of candy or a fruit snack for like the winner and that sort of thing but um in my small groups, I have groups of four and then like one group of three. So I realized I would need another bingo sheet, but I think I'm going to take this concept and 
make it into something that we do for week four. Um, I'm still gonna keep this. I'm gonna print out the other another sheet of it, and then um, so I can have four. Because essentially, I want my small groups to be like groups of four. If I have twenty, it will be five groups of four. So for the next time that we do the letter I, I like already have it. Um, but I'm gonna go through and I think probably over the summer it's gonna be one of those things that I create. So I'll do it in the chunks the way that the curriculum is set up. So it's not something that I'm gonna do now, but going forward, um, I think it is. So I think that's the next thing I'm gonna do. Um, it's going to be first. Well, no, it's not going to be the next thing I'm doing. I'm getting ahead of myself. It'll be something I'll put on my list of things to do later because I still have to create um, the picture one of this. And I think this might be helpful for my kids. Um, like we talk about the letter I to identify it, but then also to help with their cutting skills, which is a fine motor skill, gluing, sticking it on correctly. Um, so... Yeah, this would be like a small group activity. Um, so I think we're gonna focus on the letter, the letter sound, and then having them do that in small groups. Um, yeah. I wanna do more, but this week is gonna be jam packed. Like when we go back on tomorrow, hopefully we go back tomorrow, I don't know. And you guys are just looking at the, the screen because I'm not. I can't, I don't have the lighting right now, but so while you guys are here, I'm just gonna go in. Yeah, okay. Um, what was I gonna say? So, um, when we go back, um, I think I want to get pictures that they have the color or that they can color. Um, but I have to do our science project. I have to do our um, board thing. So realistically, that's what I'm about to do. Um, let me change this back. I don't really like this font. But I'm just playing around with some stuff. So this kind of Um, gives me some things to work on. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this and then I'll come back and show you guys what I come up with. Okay, so I know that this vlog is centered around mostly teaching, my teacher life aspect or whatever. But <clears throat> I would be remiss if I didn't include this because it's a part of my life. So one of the things that I've been doing lately is incorporating a fruit slash veggie or a veggie juice, about 16 ounces a day. Kind of helps keep me regulated, gives me another serving of fruits and veggies, even though I've been doing really good with eating the veggies. Maybe not so much the fruit, but definitely the veggies, right? So I got this juice from Fresh Time. It's one of the juices I've gotten. This is just beets. Now, mind you, I like beets. Um, I, I got canned beets. I could eat those if I wanted to. Beets are fine. Like, I've had them. Um, what is it called? Um, pickled beets, regular beets. Like, I'm all for it. I could even drink, I really enjoy beets and juices. Like, Beet juice by itself, trash. Do you see how much of it I drunk? That's it. <laughs> because it tastes like I'm drinking dirt. Like every time I try to take a sip of it, it just tastes like dirt. And who wants to drink dirt? But I know how beets do for me. I know that I need it because with this whole cramping situation, um, the the amount of goodness that you get from beets. I'm going to suffer through and drink this, but I just wanted to include this in here at some point. 
that beat juice by itself like if i ever go back and look at my videos just don't you ever in your life buy beet juice by itself i really need to go back to making my own juices but i think that's gonna be more of a summer type vibe when um you know i got the funds for it but yeah this is would not recommend to anyone not even myself let's build the letter i with the ice cream scoops click the ice cream scoop and then move it to create the letter i use as many of the ice creams as you need to create the letter i let's build the letter i with the ice cream scoops <laughs> click the ice cream scoop and then move it to create the letter I. Use as many of the Drag the safety floats to cover all of the eyes that you see in the picture. Drag the safety floats to cover all of the eyes that you see in the picture. Um, trying to play it somewhere where you can see it. There you go. Now here. Please <clears throat> excuse my son. I know y'all hear him in the background. Click the penguins and match all of the letter I's. Click the penguins and match all of the letter I's. Click the sound next to each word, listen to the word, and then read the word three times. After each time that you have read each word, move a star over and begin again. We'll listen to it here if I don't like it, I'll tell you. Click the sound next to each word. Listen to the words and then read the word three times. After each time that you have read each word, move a star over and begin again. I guess. I really don't. Oh, no. Um, I just realized it. That's why I can't see this. It's kind of hard trying to do all this with one hand. But yeah, you guys get the picture.
So here is a form of our data team meeting. Normally we have data team meetings on Tuesday, so I went ahead and prepped for data teams just in case we had it coming back off of the snow day. Um, this is just what our form looks like and what we present in our meetings. Then I went ahead and made another extra ticket to go along with the letter I activity so that my students could practice their handwriting skills. And this is another resource very similar to the one that I showed you, but this one has more to do with counting and 10 frames. So I never incorporated this actually in their day, <laughs> but I, I wanted to use it. Oh, I'm red. That's from the orange for my paper. Um, so I'm at work. I'm about to put, or lucky for me, we don't have any readers today. And they are doing something in the hallway. They're working on the heat. So my door is closed, so I can kind of talk. So that is his normally takes on my planning period, which is right now. Um, so it's not before I have it until like 9.40 to get some stuff done and my assistant is not here. So I got another, I don't say sub, but I got somebody else. Um, she's still, I mean, she was my assistant prior, but she just not that great. So I'm putting the iPads on um, the charger. We got 16 kids, two. I'm missing some iPads. So, I'm about to have to go through people's book bags to see if they brought iPads and then bring them to me. Because they do that often. Um, I think it's usually when it does. So, put this down here. Anyway, I'm going to get some stuff printed off. I'm going to show you guys that. Um, so far, I have 19 kids on roll. I have. I'm only missing two. I'm only missing two. So I feel like I'm don't, don't have as many iPads. So I'm one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Yeah. I gotta go through some book bags. Liam, um I'm here but my kids are at home because I didn't even drive today. That's how bad the roads are. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys my parking lot in a second. Um, so you guys can see. But um, let me get my book bags and stuff together and I'll be right with our parking lot looks like. I mean, it's not terrible. It's not terrible. But the side streets are the problem. I live on the side street. Yep, good job, keep going. Asia. Make a line down. Hold your pencil. Make a line down. Are you trying? Good job, Damian. I like your eye. Let me see. I'll bring you some in a second. Okay, hey, try to make an eye by yourself, Regine. Make a line down. Huh? Yes, you can. Hold your pencil. So this goes Draw a line down. Hold your paper with this hand. Hold your paper so it don't move. Yep. Make a line down. There you go across the top. Then across the top. Now you try. Never see you when you wake up if you never go to sleep. Huh? Okay. Good night. Lay down. Close your eyes. Turn your voices off. Think nice, relaxing thoughts. It is relaxing time. You guys had a busy day. It's time to take a break.